Good early morning for the Brookharts. Wow. Sarah stole my hat. I did. We found it. Uh huh. We haven't like we haven't had no idea where it's been. We're currently running 45 minutes behind schedule. But it's our own schedule. Yeah. No, no one's relying on us right now. All right. So we're gonna hit the road. Stop of the day is to get some donuts for part of my nieces and nephews that we're seeing first before we head over to some football games. So we are leaving Christina's now. We got the van all unpacked. Well, not we, Peter. Um, Grant helped. Oh, that was sweet of him. Yeah. Um, Peter went to Dunkin' Donuts. Did you mention that? Yeah. Okay, so I got this drink recently where it was like basically just like cranberry juice and apple juice and I guess it was green tea but I'd mentioned coconut so we got coconut milk just not my thing but Christina had gone to Starbucks and she got Violet a caramel apple spice which I did not think was out like they had that other like Maybe not apple drink but Violet didn't like it but she liked my drink so we switched um so now we are on our way <laughs> Violet has a massive <laughs> Sugary drink. Um, so now we're on our way to Yukich Fields um, to see our nephews Jackson and Dominic play some football. It's their last home game of the season. And James is wearing stallions colors, gold and green. Christina cheered for them when she was little. I was I was not a cheerleader, but we are spirited. Are you frozen? <laughs> Are you unfrozen? It's half time. Dominic's football game. Turn it up. Sarah grew up coming to these things, so when she's here, the concession just brings her to life. I had to get a walking taco, but James is trying to steal it from me right now. Back in the car, Sarah's making James a bottle. Um, gonna head back to Christina and Grant's. We uh, had Jackson and Dominic's football games to watch. He's trying, James has is, is missed a nap and he's trying so hard to stay awake. He just can't do it though. Both of the games were really good. Like, yeah. oh, I took my hat off, don't mind my crazy hair. I saw it. Oh gosh, he sees the bottle. Um, Christina made a discovery while we were at these games earlier. Christina is welcomer and lover of all things alive. And she saved this kitten's life out of an engine of a neighbor's car. <laughs> but now we don't know what to do because... Well, our sister-in-law, Kim, she's... She's, she's like, like a, a professional foster animal person. Yeah, they're gonna come figure out what to do with this kitten because Christina and Grant are starting demolition tomorrow on some repairs to the house, so they're not even gonna be here. We can't bring this kitten to Eve without getting it checked out first, plus Sarah's allergic. But it's a super cute cat. It's so cute. Hello, kitty. Are you Spider-Man for Halloween? Check it out, we got a new cover for the septic tank, or sump pump, some kind of wastewater cap that needs to get replaced downstairs. So I'm doing, I'm doing a few jobs around the house today and then Grant's gonna be back from a soccer game later and then me and him will do a couple jobs together, which I don't mind. I like learning new things and doing these things. I also have helped main, manage and maintain aspects of this house for 11, 12 years now, with, whether it was with Mr. Ryan or with Sarah's uncle 
or just helping out. So I like that aspect of like keeping it going, helping out. So there's a few things we're, we're gonna get fixed as the demo starts. They also got some window wells I think we're gonna be attaching today to four window wells outside. Look at this monster. You <laughs> have a burrito. Double wrapped, full of. We ordered Chipotle and usually like ordering online is always worrisome because they don't like do it up as good when you're like watching them make it, but these are like jam packed. The kids got chicken quesadillas and I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda jealous. They look good. Hey miss. Poopy gaga. Oh, you got jokes. Okay, the couches are now here. They're pretty glorious. This is big. This is big. I could take a nap on this for sure. For sure. I'm looking out for a nap. I don't know if the window is well picked. It's all about aesthetic, so it's an empty she likes the way it looks. Yeah. So, Christina, they're doing some demo in the house. They're getting some stuff redone. They're just like tying up loose ends and just like starting a nice foundation for their family in the house. Mm -hmm. So, there's just like a lot of little projects going on. What should we watch, Vives? Nothing. Focus, focus. You're Mary. No, you're Winnie. No. Who are you then? Sarah. No. Sarah. My name is Sarah. Sarah. Give me your best Winnie face. <laughs> Sisters! Say, look, another glorious morning. <laughs> Makes me sick. I don't know who's allowing Grant and I to go on a roof. But Grant and I have to do some flex seal work where those two uh, ceilings or two roofs meet. So let's go play on a roof. I have done this before. I'm being more facetious about it. I've done this once before with Sarah's uncle about eight years ago. So I think I know what I'm doing. Enough to be safe, also enough to be dangerous. <laughs> I just I just said to Grant, like somebody trusted us to get on this roof, but I don't even know if somebody trusts us or it's just like, this is your house. You being a homeowner is entrusting us. Look at that. Oh, it's out of the world! <laughs> well, we could roof jump. You wanna try? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see these sweetie pie cousins. Oh dear. <laughs> Everyone all right? I realized I didn't show what we did, but we just sprayed and painted a bunch of flex seal on a bunch of spots where the two roofs meet. Looks really good. We're gonna go up next weekend to make sure it all dried properly. Uh, but now we need to replace that cap. So I'm out in the garage getting some tools to uh, drill one hole and then just get the tools we need to fasten that new lid on. This is uh, Mr. Ryan, or Grandpa Ryan, Grandpa Joe's, Sarah's, Grandpa's tools that then became Mr. Ryan's that we still have that Sarah and I are keeping in the side of the family. So I'm grabbing some tools real quick to run in and get this job hopefully quickly done, but I've also never done this either. And I have to take apart some pumps and reinstall them. Look at that brand new cap. Home ownership. I threw up in my mouth. Peter almost threw up, which I think is a first. <laughs> but we did it. We got it hunky dory. We heard the pump go off. I'm gonna run the, uh, some water to make sure. I'm gonna go uh, to the bathroom to make sure. <laughs> We're headed in to Pete's for a couple of last minute dinner items. You like that scarecrow? Yeah, that's nice. Grant came to my savior. I don't know, like it's not as heavy as I think. Let's just play it safe. Hey! Look at these sweet floor mats. These are actually from the Ryan's minivan growing up as kids. And now they will be in our minivan for our kids. I just cannot believe this fit in here and I'm so happy. We made it back downtown with the headboard still intact. And then the driver's dresser is obviously still back there, but this was uh, ratcheted to the top because there's a cool like temporary bars you can put across. Sturdy and safe. Biggest piece of advice about ratchet traps like this is always put them away neatly. You will never, never, never regret 
putting them away neatly. They're quick to pull out, quick to use again, and they're not tangled. They're not all freaky. We have to spend 45 minutes just trying to get them back to a state of working again. Biggest lesson I ever learned was putting those away neatly. Did you guys know I have two titanium rods, 14 screws and four hooks or something like that in my back? I wouldn't advise moving a very well-crafted piece of furniture. Like this is like heirloom. Is that the right word? That's a tomato kind of furniture that we got from her parents, Sarah's parents. And that is a heavy headboard. It's not actually attached to the frame yet. I don't know if I'm gonna do that tonight. I don't know if I have it in me. Um, but I have to actually go find a parking spot for the van now um, that I got this off safely. I'm home. Taking, finding a parking spot didn't go as long as I expected. Um, it's actually not too far from the apartment, which is awesome. But when I came back, Sarah was already in bed. <laughs> so I'm here to say, it's a very long and very, very, very productive day. Like today, and <laughs> this whole weekend was basically based around like doing high level productivity to the max to like finally get our apartment. We like got so close to it being settled and feel like home. And then when Sarah's mom got sick, like, like it all went to a mess. And then when she passed and we cleaned out the house, we got so much stuff from like, we kept so many good heirloom. Like there you go. Are you saying heirloom again? Is that the right? Like, nice stuff. My brain's fried. Mm -hmm. That like, but we didn't have anywhere to put it. And I'm like, okay, we need to get a storage unit, or what are we doing? But like, it's been months since then, and we've just been living around boxes in our living room and kitchen. And like, it, the living room, like the front room, has been able to be functional and fine. Like, and our, but our bedroom hasn't, the dining room hasn't, the kitchen hasn't. So finally, like, getting the van, getting the last pieces of furniture in our area, getting a bunch of those boxes into storage. It's just like, this week we're gonna finally be able to get our apartment. Like, basically, full fledged Hallmark after yeah. still <laughs> seven months. Normal. Still finding the normal. But huge, huge strides this weekend. So give yourself grace. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.